All right then, how to name alkenes. Only up to six carbons though, and only linear ones. All right, let's look at butene, C4H8. Well, there's a couple of butenes, so you have to be specific. I'm gonna number from the most busy end, or the end that will give me the lowest numbers. And so butene, what you gotta do is put a number in the middle of the word. This is butwanine, because the double bond is between the one and the two. So take the lowest number. Remember, always try to get the lowest number when you name stuff. So butuene, well that's gonna have the double bond between the two and the three. I'm gonna draw in bonds, but no hydrogens. Of course, if you don't draw in hydrogens in your IB, you lose a point. I know, because I've done that to people when I graded their papers. On to hexene. There are three sorts of linear hexene. The first one uh, is hex one -ene. The double bond is between the first and the second carbon. We then have hex two -ene, where obviously the double bond is between the second and the third carbon, and I'm boring myself to death, but hex three -ene, well, you know where that is. Is there a hex four -ene? No, it's just hex two -ene counting from the wrong end. And let's look at one crazy one while we're here. This has six carbon, so it must be hex. Lots of double bonds, so it must be ene. And you know, there's five double bonds, so it's hexpentene. And you don't need the numbers because there's only five places for double bonds to go. So you don't need to give the numbers one to five. 